Good. You doing all right? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Sam, so I want to talk about yesterday first because we've seen you at quarterback, but it had to be fun playing a little bit of running back and, and slot out there yesterday. What was that yeah. like for you? Um, well, me and Coach Riley talked about a two-quarterback package early on in the spring, so I kind of knew that it was coming. But it was it was pretty fun just to get at a different position. Obviously, I'm not going to be at those positions like too much, but it was it was pretty fun getting to see that package. But that must mean something to you to know that the coaches want to find yeah. – figure out a way to get you on the field. Yeah, um, me and Coach Riley have been talking a lot about getting me on the field. So I knew the package was coming. I knew they were, they're, they're trying to figure out how to get me on the field. So it's been it's, it's been a pretty good feeling to know that for sure. What type of transition has it kind of been for you just kind of learning Sunday's offense? Are you like more comfortable now or just how's that been for you? Um, I'm, pre I'm pretty much more comfortable than I was last year considering that Coach Riley, he's a great coach. He's great at teaching you the concept. So he's pretty much been working with me a lot on learning the X's and O's. So it's pretty not, it's, it's not that, it's not as complicated as I thought it was gonna be coming in just because my offense in high school was kinda, kinda different. And the offense from last year was sort of different. But it's kinda the same, to be honest. Sam, we know you're athletic and, and can run, but one thing I've noticed from spring to now is your patience in the pocket. Uh -huh. Is that something that you worked on over the summer, maybe just become a little bit more patient? Yes, um, watching a lot of film, I kinda noticed that after I get off of my first read, I'm quick to, be elusive and try to get out of the pocket. But watching, watching the film with other quarterbacks in the room, we kind of discussed that I need to be more patient in the pocket and trust my second and third option. So that's definitely something that I've been working on. Coach Riley's sort of known sort of mass producing concepts, right, mm -hmm. out of different looks. Does that help in terms of learning? Because the amount of concepts, uh, I'm guessing, are not a, is, is, like the volume's not there, right? Is that right? Um, it's, a, it's a decent amount right now. I mean, it's pretty much going to be more coming on in the season, but he's, He's been mixing it up with like motions and trying to get the defense to show their coverage more. So it's really just getting us quarterbacks just to see exactly what we've been doing in the spring, but get against them like more easy. You know, <clears throat> trying to get the defense just to show exactly what they're doing. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. I was gonna say the uh, for the, the the package you had yesterday, it really wasn't a deal where you just inserted a slot. It was really a two quarterback package, yes. right? Which is different than yes. Yeah, it, it was yes. How sure, fun was that? Good. It was pretty fun, honestly, because we know defense kind of knew the offense. We the offense and defense usually discuss what we're going to do before, so they kind of knew, but they expected a, a double pass, and it wasn't a double pass. So we kind of tricked them on that, got a couple yeah, yeah, games. Can't give it away yeah, too early, for man. sure. Yeah. yeah. So much did you learn from the other quarterbacks? Um, from or just either from watching them or talking to them. Uh, it's a lot of competition in the quarterback room, but it's healthy competition. So I learned a lot from Max, and I learned a lot from Chandler, and I learned a lot from even the guys that are younger than me. But like we have to walk on party. He's pretty much, he wants to be a coach. So he's like literally like another coach Riley to be honest. So he's coaching all of the quarterbacks. We're learning so much from party. We learn from watching Max and we learn from watching Chandler too. What are your thoughts on, on the receiver? You guys bring back most of the top guys and you've yeah. got us add, add a guy like Jordan. I just, how good can those guys be? Ooh, Jordan Hudson is really good. Uh, DJ Allen is good too, the two incoming freshmen and major. Mm. So we've added, added a lot of depth to the receiver room. And I feel like we have one of the best receiver rooms in the country, for sure. Receiving cores in the country, the me sure. The media and fans got to know a little bit more about Sam Jackson the other day being mic'd up. How, how fun is that for you to have that opportunity? Uh, it was it was pretty exciting. That they told me that they were gonna mic me up and they know that I'm kinda, I have a lot of energy during practice. So I knew it was gonna be pretty fun. They let me be myself while I was mic'd up, so. That's just one of the sm small differences that's, that's changed in the last few months. Is that yeah. pretty fun for you players to have an opportunity yes, to? for sure. Yeah, I feel like the mic up, we've been doing the mic up every day. I'm pretty sure that today, I don't know who we do it today, but I'm pretty sure we did someone today. So I feel like for the media and for everybody, the fans and the team, it's kind of bringing us together and it's just letting us express ourselves in a different way. Did you have to clean it up? Did you catch yourself about to say something you shouldn't have uh, said? Nah, not really, to be honest. <laughs> nah, not really, no. So back to the stain in the pocket. How hard is it to learn how to do that, especially when you're, you know, fast and can do stuff yeah, with your legs? That's, that, it was kind of difficult at first, but honestly, it takes a lot of pressure off of me. It takes a lot of pressure off my O-line. And it's just it's just easier for the receivers because we don't have to do scrimmage with every single play. So as far as me staying in the pocket, I feel like that was the biggest thing that I had to work on, just trust my second and third option and know where my check down is at all times. We always talk about the receivers, Q being one of those guys, but tight end, man, you guys got some 
big fellas yeah. out there, six six, spivey. Yeah. You got Jared Wiley out there. What, what's it like having those those type of players at that position? Um, I feel like as a quarterback, it's kind of it's it's mostly fun to throw to big bodies like that, especially when they have for sure hands. So I feel like, and especially in a run game, in a pass game, they're blocking sometimes. It's pretty it's pretty fun to have those big guys that can catch and block.